If you have money goals, there's a good chance you already understand the importance of knowing what you spend and what you save. But managing your money and all those spreadsheets can get complicated. Monarch Money can help. In this Monarch Money review video, we'll share our favorite aspects of this tool and how it stacks up against its competitors. Hey everyone, this is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids & Money, a channel dedicated to helping you strengthen your family tree and live financially free. If you like what you hear today, please give me the YouTube triple thanks. That's hitting the like button, subscribe to the channel, and then commenting something down below. Maybe your favorite money management app, and maybe it's Monarch Money. We'll see. If you decide to try out Monarch, they are an affiliate partner of mine, so I get a small commission if you use my link. You can find that in the video description or right here. Thank you. All right, who is Monarch Money? Well, it's more than just a budgeting app. Monarch Money is a personal finance tool that is designed to help you tackle modern money management. From your fully customized dashboard, you can use Monarch Money to build a budget, review spending, and keep track of your investments. You can even get financial advice. To learn more about Monarch, let's dive into some of their best features that we saw. Number one, a complete financial overview. Do you find yourself getting frustrated keeping track of all the different money tools that you use? Well, you got the high yield savings account, then you got the credit cards, and then you've also got a budgeting app. But don't forget about your investments either. Man, there's so many. And if you got a spouse, well, money dates can be challenging enough without having to go on the scavenger hunt for your complete financial picture, right? That's the beauty of Monarch Money. It puts a complete financial snapshot at your fingertips. You can also easily add members of your household to Monarch as well. That way you and your partner can get on the same page with your finances, whether you've combined all your accounts or not. I could spend forever in different spreadsheets, but I can't say the same thing for my wife, Nicole. So anytime we find a financial tool that streamlines the process, we both get pretty excited. Number two, ad free. There's a good chance that you've tried out a few different budgeting apps in your life. Maybe you've taken a scroll through the app store or perhaps you've searched the list of our favorites on this channel. Again, we'll link to that in the description. One thing that really stands out about Monarch Money is its commitment to being ad free. That means there are no annoying pop-ups and no distracting sidebars. We know that ads don't bother everyone, but if you're someone who finds them distracting or you find yourself clicking off the app and maybe spending money, you'll appreciate the fact that there are no advertisements on Monarch Money. Number three, no upsell. Another way that many fintech companies make their money is by recommending products or selling them outright. Monarch Money does neither. That means there's no phone call to dodge once your net worth hits a certain threshold and no recommendations for products that you may or may not actually need. Number four, collaboration. Another thing we love about Monarch Money is that it's made with couples in mind. You can invite other household members to your plan. They get their own login, but have access to your household financial picture. We know that no two couples manage their money the same, and so does Monarch Money. That's why they give users the option to choose which accounts and transactions are added to the shared household data. Number five, customization. Monarch Money wants to work for you. That's why you can make unlimited customizations to the app. The dashboard features eight categories as a default. Getting started, net worth, budget, goals, monthly spending, recent transactions, investments, and advice. The getting started guide is meant to empower new users as they're starting. As a result, it goes away once you finish the walkthrough. As for the other categories, you can reorder or remove them completely. To do so, you simply do a quick toggle. This allows you to reinstate a category that you've removed if and when you want to. You can also create custom categories. Categories function like containers that hold similar transactions. The default setup includes commonly used categories, but you are able to input your own. Plus, you can tweak the existing names or add emojis as subtle ways to make your money management truly your own. Now let's talk about areas for improvement with Monarch Money. Number one, the cost. Many people People who are focused on their finances are also very frugal. Said another way, they want things to be free. <laughs> If you can't stomach paying for a financial tool, you're going to have a hard time with Monarch Money. In our opinion, though, the Monarch platform is so robust and the advice is so solid 
that the fee is worth it. Plus, you don't have to battle any annoying or worse tempting ads and you can count on them not to sell your data. Paid services do have their perks. They also currently offer a free seven day trial so you can take the tool for a test drive before paying. You can get access to that by clicking the link in our bio or using the link right here. Here. Number two, limited options for crypto owners. If you buy, sell, or trade cryptocurrency, Monarch Money might not be as much of a one-stop shop for you as it is for maybe traditional investors. Currently, Monarch Money only syncs with Coinbase. That means you might have to manage that piece of your financial picture separately. Number three, no credit score monitoring. For a platform that bills itself as an all-in-one money snapshot, one thing that may surprise you is that you can't monitor your credit score with Monarch. Of course, with so many credit cards and other platforms offering this service, it's not a huge deal breaker. However, this gap is certainly something we would anticipate them filling sooner rather than later. Now let's talk about Monarch Money competitors. Let's start with Empower, which was formerly known as personal capital versus monarch money. Are you a part of the fire crowd? Then there's no doubt in our mind that you're already familiar with Empower, formerly personal capital. Empower is beloved by the financial independence early retirement crowd, partly because of how many free tools it offers and partly because of how thoroughly it projects your financial picture. One thing that Empower is a bit infamous for is their sales pitch phone call that pops up after your net worth crosses $100,000 in assets. For anyone who is phone phobic, Monarch Money could win you over solely on that. <laughs> There's no upsell or advertising with Monarch Money because it comes with a small monthly fee. Additionally, Monarch Money has four calculators that we think the fire crowd would really love. These calculators include a financial health calculator, we especially love this one, a mortgage calculator, a debt pay down calculator, and a retirement calculator. You can use these calculators and get results without signing up for the paid version of Monarch Money, which is also really nice. Now let's talk about Mint versus Monarch Money. Mint is another long-term money management favorite. It's often billed as the best free budgeting tool around. If you want an uber affordable app that is dedicated to budgeting, you can't really go wrong with Mint. Mint allows you to sync your bank accounts, track your spending, and set up alerts. It also offers a credit monitoring service, which Monarch Money currently does not, as we covered. However, if you want something that helps you see your total financial picture or you don't like ads, then you should probably give Monarch Money a try. And finally, YNAB versus Monarch Money. It's no secret that YNAB has legions of dedicated users, and they've saved those users a ton of money over time. However, one thing that even the most dedicated YNABber will say that there is a learning curve when it comes to using the tool. This learning curve causes some users to look elsewhere. I can say this from personal experience. Many of those users have found more success with Monarch Money. In addition to prioritizing an intuitive experience, Monarch Money also does a bit more than YNAB. Budgeting is the bread and butter of YNAB for sure. However, Monarch Money wants to be a total money management platform. So if you're looking to focus primarily on your money goals and how to spend and save for them, YNAB might be the right tool for you. But if you're looking to get an overall snapshot of your financial health and custom advice, Monarch Money might be what you need. So let's get down to it already. What does Monarch Money cost? Well, Monarch Money offers two different ways to pay. You can pay each month, or you can pay an annual fee and save a little bit of money. By paying annually, you save over 40%. The monthly cost is currently $14.99 at the time of this recording, and the annual cost is $99.99, or $8.33 per month. No matter how you choose to pay for Monarch Money, you can take advantage of their free seven-day trial. In the end, whether you can spend all day combing through spreadsheets joyfully or find yourself overwhelmed with the sheer number of logins for all the different accounts you have, we could all benefit from a little streamlined financial process, right? Monarch Money offers that and so much more. Monarch Money allows users to set goals, create budgets, and track their spending. Plus, you can see your investments 
and your net worth all in one spot. You can even monitor your progress towards your goals and get advice straight from the apps. As an added bonus, Monarch Money is equally powerful for couples to use as singles at no extra cost. While it does come with a fee, we think it's well worth it if you want an all-in-one experience that's ad-free. Check out Monarch Money and their free seven-day trial to see if this tool can support your financial journey. Find that link in our video description or by typing out the URL that you see over Shmeow. Well, enough from our side, everyone. We want to hear from you. What do you think of this Monarch Money review? How do you manage your money? What are your tips and tricks for making this work? Please let us know in the comments below. This is Andy Hill from Marriage, Kids, and Money signing off. Carpe diem.